What are limiting factors? Have you ever wondered what keeps animal populations in check or why certain plants thrive in one area but not in another? The answer lies in limiting factors. These are environmental variables that restrict the growth, abundance, or distribution of a population within an ecosystem. They can be either biotic, which means they involve living organisms, or abiotic, which refers to non-living elements like sunlight and temperature. Limiting factors play an important role in determining the carrying capacity of an ecosystem. This is the maximum number of individuals that an environment can support without suffering degradation. Let's break it down further. Biotic limiting factors include things like predators, prey, competitors, and parasites. For example, in a forest, the population of deer may be limited by the presence of wolves that hunt them. Additionally, deer may face competition for food from other herbivores, which can also limit their numbers. On the other hand, abiotic limiting factors are non-living elements that can affect populations. These include water availability, temperature, sunlight, and soil quality. In a desert ecosystem, for instance, plants are often limited by the scarcity of water and the intensity of sunlight. Now, there are two main types of limiting factors, density-dependent and density-independent. Density-dependent limiting factors are those that impact population growth based on how dense the population is. For example, as a population grows, competition for food becomes more intense, which can limit further growth. Predation and disease also become more significant as populations increase. Density-independent limiting factors, however, affect populations regardless of their size. Natural disasters like floods or droughts can drastically impact populations, no matter how many individuals are present. Understanding limiting factors is essential for managing ecosystems and habitats. For example, conservation efforts often focus on managing biotic factors like predator populations to protect endangered species. Addressing abiotic factors, such as climate change, can help maintain ecosystem balance by ensuring resources like water and sunlight remains available. In practical terms, limiting factors influence how populations interact within their ecosystems. By managing these factors, we can help maintain ecological balance and ensure the sustainability of ecosystems and habitats. This knowledge is vital for conservation strategies and environmental management, as it helps predict how changes in limiting factors might impact population dynamics and ecosystem health. 